Home greetings to you, level four learners. Welcome to this lesson on differentiation. It's the second lesson on the topic, and uh, today's lesson will deal with the chain rule. So I'm going to introduce you to the chain rule on and where it should be applied. You will see that the chain rule will be applied when you are differentiating a function of a function. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify a function of a function. You should be able to find the derivative of such a function using the chain rule. So you will see that the first part of this lesson, I'm going to discuss with you identifying a function of a function right let's get into it the formula that you use or the formula that is called the chain rule it will be given to you on the list of formula and it is what i have just put there for you dy dx will be dy du times du dx Right, you see that a function like y is equal to 4 e exponent 3x. You should be able to identify two functions within that function. What functions are those? Functions that we can be able to differentiate separately. I can see the function e exponent, but we can differentiate e exponent x not e exponent 3x the way we have there we know the derivative of e exponent x we can also differentiate a separate function 3x so we should be seeing the two functions e exponent x and the linear function that is a straight line if you can draw the graph of y is 3x it's a straight line so that's a linear function 3x. So when you see a function like this, you should be seeing it separately as a function of 4e exponent u. Notice that in place of 3x, I've put the u. Then that is what is going to be replaced by the 3x. Right. We can also look at this from a different angle where we can have uh, two functions defined. For example, with y is equal to 2e exponent u and u is equal to 3x. You find that if we substitute the u in the first function, we have the function y is equal to 2e exponent 3x x meaning we can go from y equals 2e exponent 3x and write this as two separate functions 2e exponent u and u is equal to 3x so you you see what you need is to write y in terms of u and also to write u in terms of x that's when you can be able to apply the chain rule the following activity we are going to attempt to split the function into two to find our y in terms of u and to find our u in terms of x so can you identify a function within a function in the following problems let's look at number one quickly together we have y is equal to three cos 2x remember we can find the derivative of y is equal to 3 cos x we know that derivative and it will be given for cos x the derivative will be given on the formula sheet then 2x is also a function it's a linear function if you draw the graph of 2x you'll be drawing a straight line so you can make your 2x to be your u And if your 2x is your u, then it means you write y is equal to 3 cos u. 
where your u is equal to 2x. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause. You can also pause the video. Attempt 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. See if you can uh, write the function in terms of y, which will be a, a function of u, and u, which will be a function of x. Right, let's continue. Function number two. The function of x that we see there for x. That can be written as u is equal to 4x, meaning our y will be equal to 3e exponent u, where u is equal to 4x. Number three. We can look at this function as 2 multiplied by lin 3x. So we can have uh, lin 3x as a function within our function. We can have 3x as a function within our function so that it will be 2u. That is, you make lin 3x u. Alternatively, you can have uh, 3x as the function within another function. Meaning, if you let u to be 3x, then you have y is equal to lin u, where your u is equal to 3x. Number four, you will let your u to be the function 4x squared plus 4, so that your y will be u exponent 7, and your u is 4x squared plus 7. What do you think will be your u for the last one? Yes, the linear function 3x is your u meaning you can write your y is 4 tan u where u is 3x i'm going to use this number one to explain the process of finding the derivative using the chain rule i'll go through it step by step including some steps that may not be necessary when you are asked to solve or to differentiate using the chain rule. Right, from the activity that we are doing, we can identify our u so that our y will be 3 cos u. But the formula will require us to find du dx, that is the derivative of u with respect to x. So we'll find du dx. Then we also find from the formula, we are going to need to find dy du, which is a function of y, or which is the derivative of y with respect to u. So we need to differentiate 3 cos u. When we differentiate that, we'll get a negative 3 sine u. Remember from the formula sheet you can get the derivative of cos x. It's a negative sine x. So the derivative of cos u will be a negative sine u which you are going to multiply by, neg by the 3 there to get negative 3. Then the chain rule formula that you are given on your formula sheet, dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. So you simply go to your um, derivatives and uh, you substitute them onto the formula. When you substitute them into the formula, you get uh, dy over du is minus 3 sine u times 
du dx is 2. Then minus 3 times 2 gives you minus 6. Then you put back your u, substitute it back into the uh, solution because uh, you do not want to have your solution in terms of u. You want to have your solution in, term, in terms of x. So that will be your derivative. In the next problem, I will show you how to do that without having to write these steps from here to here. So you have you can go through from the question to this step without even writing your u. Let's do that. Number two, we need to find the derivative of 3e exponent 4x. To jog your, your memory, what do you identify as your u? u will be a function in terms of x. So we have a function in terms of x, which is 4x there. If this is our u, it means we are going to differentiate, the we are going to find the derivative of 3e to the power u. But remember, the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. So when we find dy over dx, we are going to find the derivative of 3e exponent u. Then multiply that by the derivative of 4x. So we will write it like this. dy dx is 3e to the 4x. This one here is the derivative of 3e exponent u, which is 3e exponent u, which is u, your u is 4x. Then you multiply by the derivative of your u, which we are writing there as d4x dx. This simply means we are finding the derivative of 4x. We are multiplying by the derivative of 4x. What do you get when you differentiate 4x? You get 4. That is uh, how we apply the chain rule there. We get 4. Then to simplify, we multiply the 4 by 3 to get 12, which will be 12e exponent 4x. Uh, you will understand it more when we do even more problems. For number three, we need to identify u for this function. So we can identify our u to be lin 3x, so that we are going to differentiate lin 2u, and the derivative of 2u is 2. So the next step would be to write a, or to apply the chain rule where we multiply the derivative of 2u, which is 2 by the derivative of lin 3x and we write it like that the derivative of lin 3x is given by 1 over 3x multiplied by the derivative of 3x we did that also when we were finding the derivative of lin kx then that will give us 2 over 3x times 3. Those 3s will cancel each other. We have 2 over x. By now, I'm sure you are able to follow through the process of applying the chain rule. Remember, we said on this one, this will be our u. So you have u exponent 7. And when you are differentiating this function, u exponent 7, remember you take this 7, it comes there to the front. Then you subtract 1 from here. So the derivative dy over dx will be 7 multiplied by 
your u, that's function, exponent 6. Then multiply this by the derivative of your u. In other words, you are going to multiply by what you get when you differentiate 4x squared plus 4. When you differentiate 4x squared plus 4, again, this 2 multiplies the 4, then this one, you subtract 1. So you have a 8x multiplied by that. You multiply 7 by 8x, you get 56x times that function. And that is your derivative. The last question for this activity, you are given tan. Again, you know the derivative of tan is there on your list of formula. So identify your u as 3x. So that when you find the derivative, dy dx will be 4 sec squared of 3x multiplied by the derivative of 3x. The derivative of 3x is 3, so we have 4 sec squared 3x multiplied by 3. Multiply the 4 and the 3, you get 12 sec squared 3x. So that is it for this activity. Uh, I'm going to attach some questions that you should attempt. All the questions are on the chain row. Please try to work on your own. I advise you to go through this um, presentation again. You can play around with it. You'll be pausing. You can rewind and um, see how best you can solve the problems that I'm going to give you. Enjoy, stay safe, and continue working. Bye-bye.